in the next part of the lecture, we are going to talk about subsequences. So if we have um, a sequence, so then uh, subsequence is just a new sequence that is extracted from our sequence by taking some of its terms. That's all. So for example, I don't know, uh, if um, our sequence is enumerated from one to infinity, then we can only take um, elements whose index is a complete square. So this is going to be, well, by taking not all uh, terms of the sequence, but just a1, a4, a9, a16, and so on, we are constructing a subsequence, right? Or we can take, take all the terms of our sequence starting from, say, number 4 or number 2022 or, or whatever, right? Um, very often we need to look at um, even-numbered terms and at odd-numbered terms. All right, um, now... If the limit of our sequence is L, then it means that every subsequence uh, also has limit L, right? So le let me give you an example. So we have already um, uh, proved that the limit of n over n plus 1 as n goes to infinity is 1, right? So it means that if we replace n with, uh, well, basically with any subsequence, then um, um, the, the limit of the result is also going to be 1. So for example, so the limit of 2 to the n divided by 2 to the n plus 1, right? So uh, we are uh, extracting terms that are on positions uh, whose number is a power of 2. And the limit of this is going to be 1. Or, for example, it's going to be the same as the limit of something like, I don't know, n factorial over n factorial plus 1 as n goes to infinity. Or even something like, if, if we take the limit of p over p plus 1, where p is a prime number. And it, it goes to infinity. It's still going to be 1. So, um, here are a few more examples of this. Right? Um, and... At the same time, you know, uh, since we know that if um, every subsequence is supposed to, 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 to converge to the same limit, so if we found out that there are two different subsequences that approach different limits, it means that the limit of the big sequence just does not exist, right? So it's like, um, I don't know, the, the simplest example is minus 1, 2 to the n, right? So if we take the even subsequence, minus 1 to the 2k, and this is just 1, and it approaches 1. And if we take the odd subsequence, we get minus 1 to the 2k minus 1, which is just always negative 1. And, of course, the limit is negative 1. So they're different, So which is why the, the, this, the, this sequence diverges. So this is one possible example. Uh, in this case... Um, Uh, the sequence of terms uh, that are placed on positions uh, whose index is not divisible by 3 is it, just pi, right? So, and of course it converges to pi. How about logarithm of 1 over n, right? So if you look at logarithm of 1 over n, then as n grows, n grows to infinity, uh, 1 over n basically goes to 0, right? And logarithm of uh, something that approaches zero is going to approach to negative infinity. All right, so it goes to negative infinity. So one of there, there is a divergent subsequence. So infinity means divergent. And since there is a divergent subsequence, we conclude that the limit of the whole sequence uh, that doesn't exist. All right, and here is uh, the the second example that I already explained. Uh, right, so the odd subsequence is just always negative 1, the even subsequence is just always 1, so the limits are different, so the, this sequence diverges. Alright, uh, so on, on the other hand, um, you know, very often we just, we just want to look at the even-numbered sequence and the odd-numbered sequence, because, you know, um, so when I come up with um, 
test questions for you, I will probably put something like minus one to the n. Right? Um, but anyway, so here is a different example when the, the, the limits are the same, actually. Right, so if you look at uh, 2k over 2k plus one, then the limit is one because you know it is our familiar sequence n over n plus one, where n is 2k, so it is a subsequence, right? And at the same time, e to the one over 2k minus one. Um, so again, so you, you can think of this as e to the uh, one over n, and one over n approach is zero, and this is a subsequence of that, the odd numbered subsequence, right? But it approaches e to the zero, which is one. So both limits are one. So since they are the same, it means that uh, the whole sequence also converges to, to one. All right, so this is how uh, subsequences work.